Hello, Jason here from Septic Tank TV. Now, if you're a septic tank owner, then this live broadcast I'm shooting right now is it will be of great value and importance to you. Why? Because, as you probably know by now, or maybe you don't know, all the rules and regulations in the UK are changing after the 1st of January 2020. Basically, septic tanks will be either become legal, stay legal, or become illegal. And that's dependent on a number of factors, such as whether your septic tank um, is, is blocked up, whether it smells, whether it's got cracks in it, whether it's tired, whether it's warm, whether it's a certain age. But most of all, whether you have an EN12566-1 certificate. But the point is, right, regardless of the state and condition of your septic tank, the first uh, link in the chain is this. After the 1st of January 2020, government inspectors will call round to your house and they'll want to know specific answers about your septic tank, right? So what kind of things will they ask you? Well, they'll want to know the age of your septic tank, the condition of your septic tank. They'll want to know things like what's it constructed from, right? They'll want to know the location of it. Uh, they want to know the capacity of it, etc., etc. Now, at this point, right, when they get on, people get a knock on the door from the government inspector, they'll be in a quandary and they'll, oh, no, no, no. And, and they'll kind of rush to the drawers and try and find the septic tank emptying receipts and hand them to the government inspector who's going to look at it and say, okay, uh, you got your tank emptied two years ago and it cost you 400 quid. They don't want to know that. They're not interested in that. They just want specific answers to the specific questions that they're going to ask, ask you. All right. So this is why I've made this video, because I want to show you an easy way in which you can uh, answer all the government inspectors' questions really simply and really easy. It's called a government compliance form. You can go onto Google and type in government compliance form, and you'll see the forms there. Here's an example of the form that you can get free from my website. There's no catch, you can just download this form for free. And once you've downloaded it, print a few copies off, hand one to your solicitor and put one in on display in your kitchen or your utility room. And let me show you a bit about the form. Basically, it preempts and answers all the questions that the government inspectors are gonna ask you. Okay, so let me start, give you an example, okay. Uh, for example, question number two, where is your sewage system located? So where's your septic tank located? Is it in the front garden, the back garden, um, the side garden, the neighbor's garden? Is it in a field somewhere? Well, wherever it is, put the answer down there. Um, next question, the, your septic tank or your sewage system is constructed out of what? What's your septic tank made from? Is it made from fiberglass? Is it made from breeze blocks? Is it made from concrete, from plastic? Whatever it's made from, put the answer down there, okay? Next question, all right, the age of your septic tank or sewage system is approximately what? So how old is your sewage system, is it? Um, five years old, 10 years old, 50 years old, whatever it is, put the age down there. So you get the point, don't you, right? So I've, I've put the 10 questions down there that you'll get asked. I've left it blank so you can fill in the answers. And what happens is this. When the government inspectors come round to your house after the 1st of January 2020, instead of, you know, trying to answer their questions, you know, off the cuff, right? You can just go to your kitchen or you, your t utility room, right? Get the form, right, that you've downloaded and filled in, hand it to them. They will then be like, Wow, okay, here's a responsible septic tank owner. He's uh, answered all the questions, right, that I'm about to ask him, brilliant. He'll say thank you very much, and then he'll go off to your neighbor, who, bet your bottom dollar, hasn't got one of these, right? So, this is just a basic septic tank tip that I wanna share with you to save you all the hassle that many septic tank the owners up and down the country are going to experience and face after the 1st of January 2020. So if you'd like more free information, right, free information, or you want to download a free government compliance form like the one I've just showed you, you've got a couple of options. You can go to septic uh, tank um, tank.co.uk uh, and they're free. It's in the top left hand corner of the website. Just click it and you can download your forms or just go to septic tank TV. 
uh, just type it in Google. The point is, right, this tip for the day will save you hundreds and hundreds of pounds because if you can't answer the government inspector's questions sufficiently to his satisfaction, then he will get a firm to come around and inspect your septic tank, right, to get the answers to his questions. And that will cost you 450 quid. So this form, this free form that I'm giving away, will save you 450 quid. And <laughs> it'll get the septic tank inspectors off your back. So listen, thank you very much for watching. As I said, if you want more free information, just go to septictank.co.uk or, 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 or septic tank TV. If you want loads more free videos, then below here you'll see a link that you can click. Just click the link there or subscribe to uh, my Septic Tank TV channel and you'll get more free help and advice to any questions you've got regarding your septic tank or treatment plants, cesspools, etc. So thank you very much for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.